the idea of a prosperity plan is essentially creating a life design that is going to empower you to thrive as a creative. And there are really five main components to a prosperity plan. Everything starts with identifying your purpose. So you have to understand your creative purpose because that becomes the goal. That's your North Star. That's the goal of this blueprint. The other pieces that we think are the essential pieces to creating a life strategy is first, what are your resources? What are your assets? What do you have in your life that will help you accomplish this? And when you say that word, particularly the word asset, people think financial assets. But the reality is there's four types of assets that people have, four types of wealth. And I, and I choose that word intentionally because, again, I think we've mischaracterized wealth to be limited to money. We're all wealthy. Our creativity and who we are is our greatest wealth, right? And so understanding that these are resources you can tap into and use strategically to accomplish and fulfill your life goal is critical. And those four components... It's financial assets, sure. If you have money or financial capital, that's always helpful in starting a commercial enterprise. The second is social capital, relationships, audience, right? Who do you know? For, for creatives or influencers, I prefer the term thought leaders, your audience is critical and is something you can build upon, right? So relationships, family, friends, professional um, audience. Then there is creative capital or your creativity. And that is essentially, again, one, your body of works. Can you leverage those to create opportunity, but also what you're capable of creating from a creative perspective? And then finally, what we call your human assets, which is, you know, you can think of that as mind, body, spirit, right? So your intellectual capital being your mind, your, your knowledge, your learned skills, your education, things like that your body being essentially how you were brought into this world. So your natural talents, your natural gifts, physical, et cetera, um, or mental, just how you work. And then spiritual being, you know, those intangibles, right? Your passions, your spiritual beliefs, your philosophies, the things you believe strongly in. Those are, your, those are all pots of resources. The third is team. It takes a village to be successful. So identifying based on what your life goal is, what are the variety of roles, right? And that need to, to be played? What has to get done? What is the stuff that you need to get done to get from A to B or A to C? Um, and so identifying those roles and then figuring out, or is this everything, are you gonna do all this yourself or do you need to strategically build a team so that you can you know, um, best accomplish your goals? Um, after that, you get into you know, a little more complicated, you get into structure. So how all of this, your assets, your team, et cetera, is, is structured both legally, but also in an administrative or governance perspective in terms of how it works together, the hierarchy, the flow, all of that kind of stuff so that it functions to your benefit. And then finally, a process. So the process of making this machine, right, this engine work to your benefit, ensuring that there is, you know, um, priorities are met, there, there's accountability, all of that is built into, into a process. So those are the five elements of the prosperity plan. This is the blueprint to your life success. What's your purpose? Who's helping you do it? What do you, what do you own, right? How is it structured? And process, how does it work?